Well, welcome to part three of the May 24 uh, garden tour. Right, we're right at the end of the garden now. The cold bit, definitely the cold bit. Um, got a few issues up here. Um, Tetrapanax there, which has once again not come back. There's bits of it knocking about. Um, does it every year there. And I'm kind of at the point of giving up with it now. And I'm going to put tracky carpets in here anyway, I think. Um, quite a nice spot for it there. And there's the big v backs over there. So I think it'll work well. Um, it is a seat area, this as well. It's just poured down, so everything's a little bit wet at the moment. Um, there is a low quite under that fag easy knitted. I need to take a big piece of that out. So we can see it again. A Mahonia there. The kind of standard everyday Mahonia you see. It's been as a tree, one of the original plants from, the, plants from this garden. Um, just looks great when you cut all the lower foliage off. What else? I need to do a bit of work up here. There's nothing been weeded or whatever. There's a fag, a geezer and gustissima behind this. Schleffra, which is either Impressor or Rhodo Dendrifolia. I can never work it out which one's which. Uh, a few things going on here. Definitely some weeding needed. There's um, Burinda Papyrus for a CS1046 here and it's not going to stay here because it gets hammered every winter december 22 really hammered this plant big time so i'm going to move it and i'm going to move that uh, euphorbia as well and i've got phylostachis uh vivax huam venzu inversa what a mouthful that is so i've got one of them i'm going to put that in there i think uh, more knitted at the back and you can just see over there we have a very a very wonky eucalyptus and that plant there with the tag on is one of the KR Berinders whose number let's have a look let's have a look which one it is KR6745 and it's probably going to be shooting yes it is putting new columns up interesting little plant that one um which brings us nicely to this area which is oh, crawl back muse of dew right at the bottom of my garden cut back to the ground no protection besides a good mulch and we're off again no issues whatsoever oh uh, brugmancius tracy's got a ocd with brugs this year um some of them little KR micro propagated plants, more on that in a in another video. Euphorbia, I hope I get this right. John Felix X Pastoria, something like that. What a great plant, just grow. This this one's done better than than the others we've planted. And there's another Euphorbia down there which needs a bit of a tidy tidy up. Uh fine stachysorial sulcata there behaving itself. It's been there years and doesn't do anything. Right. This is my huge wall of bamboo, which is all kind of arching over quite a lot at the moment because of the amount of rain we've just had. So, uh, Berinda KR4059, Berinda Frigida, or Frigidorum, seen it called both. Corkscrew hazel there. Phagesia robusta pingu. As far as Phagesias go, that is a bit of a fug. And this one, quite a sought after plant this. This is Berinda papyrifera CS1046, which has been growing here for about 10 years now. So I probably planted this around about 2013, I think. I've done a lot of work on it last year. Thinned a lot of columns out. Still a lot to be done, but it's getting in, getting in there to them. They've took quite a lot of divisions off it, all of which have took, by the way, which is good news. Um, and piled manure on it, which is mostly all gone now. Um, I'm gonna probably take a little bit more out of this side and a little bit more out of that, get a more compact plant, feed it like mad. One of them divisions I'm gonna plant in this area. So you've got two separate plants. But yeah, it does look a bit, a bit thin and crowded out, but it still looks amazing. And there's, there's loads, 
loads of new uh, combs and there's a really really unusual one check that one out if you can see it it's like one new comb that's well two that joined together so there you go that is Marinda Papyrifera CS746 loads of work to do on it but most of it will happen after the gardens open in May although I do need to get rid of stuff like this yeah it'll have a tidy up pretty soon right moving swiftly on a huge Paulonia Tomentosa you might have recently seen seen the video I did recently of the of the one in the front more brooks um <clears throat> Pachycarpus fortunii female Look. and as you can see I've been I've been dancing that is probably a pretty good picture that isn't it because that shows the difference between male and female male you can probably might even see a bit of pollen falling off onto the female flowers there you go do you ever wonder what the difference was that's it um <clears throat> Phagesia scabrida behind that as well i need to get some of that out um muse of Bazdew, totally unprotected last year last winter in this area look at that already um i guess the growing point is the same height as me so around the six foot mark yeah everything's just waking up here lots of canners I did a video on this a while, or a couple of weeks ago, which is uh, Beauty at Area Spafer. She's just coming back. And la literally last night I tidied up in this area. And you know it's like when you're trimming shamrocks. If you don't draw blood, you're lucky. Um, there's still a few tatty leaves knocking them out. Oh, still a bit more work to do, I think. Give it a good feed. Stuck an echium in. Yeah. So what's going on here at the moment totally changed this area and we've got a big veg truck costco model oh no it didn't come from costco but it's the same one we do there quick look in this area because we've actually got scaffolding up and um yeah i've had a little bit of work done but there's more pap um Berinda papyrifera here um which are doing all right and oh, various other things what's that there brassiopsis bodinari eye uh, Podocarpus henkilii and uh, uh, Schlepherum macrothyla up there. Various other little bits and bobs. Brassiopsis mitis. Yeah, a little bit of change in this area. Going to move some of these pots, probably put um, some extra chairs we've got in there as well. So, lots going on over here. Let's take a quick look. So we started building this bed late last year. Took a bit of filling. And you can see the first course of sleepers, slightly older than the, the last ones I put in. And the, the planting is based around four main plants with a couple of others in between, if that makes sense. The first one being this Berinda here, which is KR3968. And then on this corner, which is closest to the conservatory, um, Brassiopsis fatsioides, which is potentially one of the hardiest of the Brassiopsis and is closest to the house as well. Bob's getting under my feet now. There's another Berinda in the middle of the bed, seven doubles, KR7662, uh, which I've mentioned in previous videos, and then a Trachycarpus. And then the rest of the planting, so around this area, the Trachycarpus, obviously the Trachycarpus is just going to grow up, so we've got a lot of like nice chunky plants around it that will never have, need to be disturbed because unlike the Berindas the the track is just gonna like I say grow taller however with the Berindas so there's one there there's actually another one in the corner as well and the KR3968 these will uh, expand over time so all the plants around it are those kind of really easy to shift now we've got a lot of ricinus going in this year which is a bedding plant obviously begonias all that kind of mm -hmm. thing and then conveniently located part way between these is are a couple of schlepherers so they're over there Whoa. which shouldn't get in the way you know because i will have to intervene at some point with uh come on bob with the berindas because they will expand and then 
massive hiniba there and I've just stuck it in the middle. Right, Bob, come here. What's the problem? Uh, I've just stuck it in the middle of the bed there because I had nowhere else to put it and it's just massive and I think it'll be its last year this year. I think we'll end up chopping it into to bits to make baby hinebas. And there's a little shamrock, well it's not a little shamrock actually, it's quite a big trunk to shamrock that's been frosted. That belonged to a family member and we stuck that in there. Yeah, there's lots going on here. There's a KR5756 which came highly recommended from a friend in Cornwall, that's been planted there. And then this area is very much work in progress. Brinda KR7615 which is growing quite well there. Another 3968 and um, this... <coughs> This plant is from a division of KR5600, it's doing alright actually, start putting some new cones up soon I hope. Um, one of the other pieces that we got on the same day is already pushing up the odd, the odd new cone but yeah that looks to be doing alright. Work in progress here, I need, uh, I need to get the manure trailer on the go. We had in previous videos I've mentioned about putting Harris or Harris fence, Harris, Harris fencing up and a couple of suggestions that we spray it black so it'll blend in and it does um we've not done it all yet and you can see as i come down here yeah there's a big difference and it does work well doing doing that there's still a bit of work to do there but the chickens they've got their own little area there with the bench just one round here bob's having a mooch <coughs> yeah you can see quick quick look at the bed here and the or schleffers which are a good distance away from the uh, those plants which will get bigger over time. Echium there which does get a little bit sun at this end, not too much because if you look this we're surrounded by trees so it's not too bad for those because they're like quite a lot of shady not full sun plants here. Yeah a little bit of work to do there with the chickens to finish off the fencing and keep spraying it all black. It's a seeds wait, seed grown plants waiting to go in. Veg truck here. Totally changed. It's been really nice to get this area of patio back. Bob! Bob, come here! What are you doing in there? Looking for food. Because that's what they do. Uh, lots of divisions of different plants here. Lots of berindas. Lots of my um, CS1046 divisions from last year all seem to be doing really, really well. In the greenhouse through there but yeah it's looking uh it's looking quite good this area really pleased now the chickens have a new home which is there and we've got all that room to uh to dig and and just do chicken stuff so that's it for part three hope you've enjoyed it have a great weekend cheerio